the reason why we're here is for our customers. So to be able to cook for them um, is, I guess, the ultimate inspiration. But to be able to do that using incredible produce um, and also having amazing chefs as well. So I think having really young, eager, excited, keen chefs uh, working in our kitchen is a real inspiration. To be a part of their career um, is an exciting process and exposing them to wonderful technique and, and brilliant local producers uh, is, is a true inspiration. It's pretty much anything local. Um, I love working with local artists and passionate producers. Um, in particular, uh, Tony Mann from Export Fresh and the Petit Bush. Um, just the array of amazing herbs and beautiful flowers and interesting lettuces and that they have is incredible. Uh, First Farm Organics as well is another great producer. Um, I think what's unique now about Australia and in particular New South Wales is that we are uh, exposed to such incredible produce and great producers. Um, and in particular I love working with whole carcasses as well and you know, to break down whole pigs and suckling pigs and suckling lambs, whole lambs. Um, and it's a great way to sort of teach people the economic benefits as well as uh, expanding on their skill set to show them how to break down a whole beast and utilising the different cuts with, with different cookery methods. My standout chef moment, um, I guess, over my career, there's been a few and I think it's probably what really sticks in my mind um, is, are the chefs that have probably had the biggest influence on my career. So there's Liam Tomlin from uh, Brazil Cassis and Bank Days. Um, when I walked into the kitchen, even though it was just to do a stagiaire with uh, Pierre Gagné in, in Paris uh, many years ago. Um, it was an amazing week that I spent there and it was just phenomenal uh, seeing him working. Um, and in particular cooking long, alongside Raymond Blanc for sort of three years was, was also a, an amazing highlight of my career. To me what makes a good chef um, is ultimately the passion, the focus and the dedication and just a real love uh, for cooking and not being scared to sort of get in there and get your hands dirty and, and you've, you've, you've really got to be passionate because it can be quite hard, can be quite tough job. Um, but if you love it and you really enjoy it, then it becomes quite easy and it becomes exciting. And you can tell a good chef, when we're interviewing people, you can tell it in their eyes when they're passionate and when they're excited. So, you know, you've just got to really be into it. My favourite cookbook's an old one. I think it was published in about 1970 or thereabouts, but it's uh, called Great European Chefs. And it's got all the classics in there, like Alain Chapelle and Fernand Point. And, um, who have sadly passed now, but they just had such an incredible influence, I think. <clears throat> um, they were sort of in that era after Escoffier, but before that sort of real superstar chef. But they, um, that particular book just sort of goes behind the scenes and you get to see their incredible menus, the layout of their kitchens. And although the food is probably not so much relevant these days, but in terms of uh, what's showcased in the book is just incredibly inspirational. So we would begin with the olive herb which is very new to me, um, but I was just blown away when I first tasted it. It's obviously got the olive flavour, but it's quite earthy and quite herbaceous in there, but I, I think there's a lot of um, a lot of interesting uses with that one. And um, and red vein sorrel as well, which I've used for a long time and, and absolutely love. It's got that really nice freshness, the acidity, and it just looks beautiful as well. And another new one actually, the sea fennel. Um, is beautiful. It's got an incredible texture, like it's got a really nice sort of bite to it and that sort of iodine sort of salty flavour you get from the from the sea uh, part of it. And uh, Yuki mix as well, which has got a lovely arrangement of the, the Asian style sort of herbs and, and um, lettuces in there. So it's just got that nice sort of Asian crest. It's a really interesting balance, I think, of um, and it looks beautiful as well, which I love. And Red Elk is another one I've used for quite a while. I love that because it's sort of got that nice sort of earthy, cabbage sort of flavour to it, which, and I think those five just give a really unique sort of uh, arrangement for us to use on a regular basis. Next is interesting question, so uh, we've got a lot going on here at Centennial. Um, we're always looking at sort of expanding uh, our repertoire of knowledge and producers and all that exciting stuff. Um, also looking at another business venture in the corner in Wallara, although we yet to ink a deal on that one, but it's certainly uh, getting closer and closer, which will be good. Um, but yeah, look, I just, I think, you know, inspiring the chefs around and, and continuing to influence their careers and, and teaching and learning, I think is the biggest sort of thing to, to keep learning for yourself and teaching those around you.